Hello, this is Jungle Jargon again. I'm making this video about biology, life forms, and the air that biologists and scientists make in regard to the origin of these life forms. They're trying to tell us that life forms are made by natural means. That means that objects and natural forces directed and organized our existence. Now that hypothesis is absolutely absurd. It has no basis. Objects and forces never act on their own. They only ever do what they are directed to do if they are directed to do something. Otherwise, they have the same chemical reaction every time. Same reaction, same reaction. And the same reaction every time is not going to direct or organize any life forms. You need 20 amino acids for a life form. You can hardly get 8 or 10 or whatever it is. And they're not even organized. They're not directed. They're not ordered in the proper order for function to occur. For any kind of function to occur. Anytime you have a function happening is because it was directed to happen, it was made to happen, it was ordered, commanded to happen. Now, the problem with life forms coming into existence by supposed natural means is that objects in nature never do anything of their own. So, a biogenesis is not possible because a biogenesis requires one or more magical events where things are organized enough so that the first life form can function and reproduce. That's not possible because you have to have the directives to make the proteins, you have to have the proteins protect the directives and so how can you have directives that don't have proteins directing the formation of proteins it's not possible okay a biogenesis requires one magical event evolution requires millions more of the same kinds of magical events where directives and organization comes from nowhere. Now the fact that this is being taught in schools is just ridiculous. It's just so absurd. There is there's no sane reason for teaching anything comparable to this. It's the fact that people think that objects act in any way or organize anything is evidence that they're listening to devils, demons. You are proving that the demons that are confusing you exist. So you're not helping out your cause. You're just showing that you're being misled. Because you have no logic, you have no valid reason to think that any directives occurred at all through natural means or that any directives added on to themselves or became more directed. 
it's just not possible. It's not possible to the one, it's not possible the other. Mutations never organize anything in the genome. And the, the natural selection can only select what the genome has already organized. So there is no evolutionary changes ever occurring. The variations are variations of kinds, different kinds. They do not change from what they are. They're variations of the kind that they are because there's, there's no other way to get any other information for any other thing. So it's absolute nonsense. It's just so annoying that anyone would teach something as absurd as objects acting. It's just absolute absurd nonsense. Your reasoning is faulty and it has no place in science. It has no place in science. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You biologists should be ashamed of yourselves that you are teaching such absurd nonsense. You need to go back and follow the logic. Directed mechanisms inside of you can only be the result of a director or maker that made you. You are a variation of the humankind and you will never be anything else because that is all the directives that you have. You have no directives to be a giraffe or anything else. I'm not saying that you will evolve into a giraffe, but I'm just saying that the directives aren't there. It's nothing. The directives for a fish can't become a salamander. The directives for a salamander, and they grow different. They grow totally differently, completely different. The salamander grows different from the lizard. The fish grows different from the salamander. Reptiles are completely different from mammals. It's just not happening. It's not possible. Don't even consider it, because it's, it's not a possibility. Objects, elements, and related forces do not act on their own. They can only do what they are made to do and nothing else. And the fact that they are made to do something proves that you have a maker that made them to do something. Okay, now I'm tired of this nonsense being shoved down our throats on a daily basis and shoved down kids' throats so that when I talk to kids, they don't have a clue what I'm talking about. When I talk to adults, they don't have a clue of what I'm talking about because you confuse them with your nonsense. Now you either come up with your evidence or you get rid of your fantasy called evolution. It's nonsense. It's idiocy. It's proof you listen to the devil, devils and demons that confuse you. And you're destroying people's minds. And you're giving credit to objects that objects don't have credit for. You need to be giving the credit to the maker who made the elements work inside of you in the first place, who made the universe of the elements the same set of elements that work inside it. There's only one set of elements made by one maker used in one set of life forms. There is no evidence of any other maker. There is no evidence of any other cause. That's 
That's all there is to it. If you want to negate what I'm saying, you have to come up with a show me a directed mechanism that doesn't have a maker that came up on its own. If you can't show me that, if you can't show me an object or force that can act on its own, then you can't tell me that evolution exists. You can't tell me a biogenesis ever happened. It's just nonsense. You're destroying people's minds. You're making them so they can't even think logically. They can't even think on their own. You're doing the thinking for them, and they're believing nonsense, absurd things that can't ever happen, that are completely contrary to every scientific fact that it was ever known or discovered. Now, either you come up with the evidence, or just be ashamed of your baseless theological beliefs. And basically what you're doing is giving homage to object, physical objects. And that's idolatry. Paganism, naturalism, idolatry. Nonsense. Absurdity. Now I guess that's enough for my, my little man.